Question number six. Order. Question number six, Kanwal Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And my question is to the Minister of Transport and asked, how is the government supporting the increased uptake of public transport in Auckland? Uh, the Honourable Simon Bridges. Last week, alongside the Prime Minister and Mayor of Auckland, I had the pleasure of breaking the ground, marking the start of construction on the long-awaited City Rail Link. The project will be one of New Zealand's largest ever projects. This was made possible by the government's commitment made earlier this year with Auckland Council to bring forward a joint business plan from the, for the City Rail Link and formalise our funding commitment from 2020. With Auckland's population predicted to grow by more than 700,000 people over the next 30 years, the CRL will play an important part in getting people in and out of the city with ease and boosting public transport use across the city. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kanwalt Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will the City Rail Link project benefit Auckland? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Well, Mr Speaker, when completed, the CRL will double the capacity of Auckland's rail network, provide two new stations in the central city and benefit commuters whose travel times will be reduced significantly. For example, Auckland Transport estimates that a commuter travelling between Henderson and the planned Aotea Order. station will save on average 17 minutes per trip. The government's commitment to the project also provides certainty for large-scale projects like the 350 million NDG Auckland Centre and the 680 million Commercial Bay Tower. Both of these projects will pump renewed investment into the CBD as well as creating new jobs. Question number eight. 